You're looking for an easy way to make an animated GIF? What if you could put that GIF into your Rise course to add a little bit of character and movement? Let me show you just how easy it is. And today's fun tip to start off your week is just a quick trick that I do to add a little movement, a little personality to a class. So uh, this is a project that I've been working on where we're, we're doing an exercise on the wellness wheel. And as you scroll through the RISE course here, you're going to see we have these different areas that impact our mental health. And the contact is, the, the takeaway message is to go and contact EAP, the Employee Assistance Program, and we have this little journal. So what I've done here is I've made an animated gift with one of our characters. She says that Jenny said the wellness wheel helped her out. Maybe she'll call them Invent. And then we have the cat. So uh, I'm going to show you how I made this, how to upload it into Rise. You see that it just goes through in a quick little loop. Uh, it's actually surprisingly easy. Okay, so this is one of my characters. To get these characters, I'm actually using Articulate Studio. So you see here that I'm in PowerPoint. I googled for a cat picture. If you see that I scroll out here, you'll see that this cat is actually really large. It's like Jumbo Kitty. So what I'm going to do is I one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts is Control and the scroll wheel. And I'm just going to kind of resize Greta a little bit so that she is a little bit bigger. So you see that I have her one time, two times, three times, four times. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the new larger one to the back here. I'll send it to the back and then send this to the back. You may be wondering why Carl has cats on both sides. It's simply because the image, I've been trying all kinds of things to have the cat on there. And one easy trick is just to take it and stretch it the other way. So when you look at it, it seems like it's just sort of the same couch. And I send this one to the back as well. Yeah, so I'm going to have her cover that little spot. And I will paste it here. And I'm going to go ahead and just take the Greta Grumpy part off of there. That's one of the things that I was looking at. So the basic, the takeaway is here. Over here you've got your thumbnail that shows what it's going to look like. We have text that comes in. I'm going to go ahead and move this text down a little bit so that it's coming from her mouth. I really kind of struggled with this one to have it be on the screen and not make it look like it's covering the cat because certain people are only going to be interested because there's a cat here. I'm using this as a trick to make the whole thing more interesting. So we'll go through here, and then now here we have in another pose. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove Greta, and I'm going to go ahead and choose this Greta. I'm just doing copy and paste on my keyboard. But then I'll show you here, if you've never worked with Articulate Studio, it's just a PowerPoint plugin that adds this whole thing to your ribbon bar, and one of the things it does is it gives you access to their content library which I think is pretty cool. It makes it pretty easy. It's, it's loading right now, but you'll see that I have lots and lots of characters and each character has lots of poses. So we're gonna find one here. This is the palette. If you've used it in Storyline, you'll see that it looks basically the same way. Uh, so that I can go through here and we have her thinking and then I want her to do another pose where maybe she says, you know what, I do want to. I'll go ahead and scroll down. You'll see there's just tons and tons of poses here. Uh, maybe I'll have her do this pose. Where she's like a little bit softer. There we go. So now I'm just going to bring this caption back to the front. Move it around. I'm going to have it change from saying maybe I'll call them to maybe say I'll call it EAP. And I don't know if I like the term vent. So here we go. So this character, see that I'm looking over here just to make sure that my box is there. I might just stretch it out a little bit longer. It takes a little bit of work here, especially when I have a big, large, this cat really, Jumbo Kitty here, has really messed things up for me. Let me squeeze that down a little bit. There we go. So we have our character, we have her sitting here. 
I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna paste her in, and then the cat gives it away. So how did I make the gift part? First, you get the graphics you want. Uh, I'm a big fan of saving, so I go in here, I hit save as, and now I'm gonna actually go through and save this as a PNG file. Which one? All of them. I've shared this tip before, but I really do use it all the time. Especially when I work with Rise, I find that it's easiest to have a PowerPoint that I can use in multiple places. And it's gonna go through and say, okay, we've saved it as a folder and that we have all those characters. So I can go in now and I have, I have all these slides because this is what's in my deck and here's the ones that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna take these into Camtasia to make my animated GIF. I can just drag those into Camtasia. You see they'll go here into my media library and I can take all four of them and drag them onto my timeline. Uh, this is my stage. I happen to know, because I've done this before, that I need it to be 150%. Let's see that we start off, and then after three seconds it moves here. I showed this to my wife yesterday and she didn't really get to read it. So I'm going to add a little time on there and a little time on there, stick them together. Now I'm going to show you the way that we're going to make our GIF is here in Camtasia. And when they loop, they sort of cut out that'll go black. So what I'm doing is adding uh, one just to the very end here. So we have a little fade and a fade here and a fade here and a fade there. So now when you go under export, you say local file, production settings, blah, 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 choose GIF. 30, loops, infinite, I just leave all the default settings. Okay, so uh, now I've got a little bit of animation. You see that I've used the video block here. This is an actual, like a four minute video. But uh, instead of having only static images, you can use that trick that I just showed you to go in and we can actually pick a new GIF. So I've saved it down to my desktop. I've done this where I have other characters throughout the site that are talking. You see how fast and easy it is to make. So I'm gonna upload this. Uh, for those of you who are nerdy and wonder about file size, it's about 20 megabytes for that. So it's tough to use into email. I have not run into problems using it in Rise, but uh, I do think it's a fun way to add a little bit of life to it. And uh, with this sense, we have a cat that's telling us to talk to EAP, which I think is, is kind of fun in general. So you may be wondering, Carl, why are you making a GIF instead of just making a video? Doesn't Camtasia do both? Uh, the answer is that uh, a video, you actually have to hit the play button to get them to play, whereas a GIF, when you scroll down, Greta's captions are just going to pop up and the learners it's just sort of automatically get that. So I think it's a neat trick. It is very quick, very easy to do. I have talking characters throughout the site using the same trick. And uh, I hope it's a tip that works well for you. I'm all about getting bang for your buck. And uh, this is a good one. Uh, you can get a good interaction done in just a few minutes worth of work which is great. Have a good one.